how's it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i'm gonna share with you some important settings that you need to change immediately on your galaxy phone these hidden settings will ensure that your device is completely safe and secure without any compromises guys this is a must watch video for all samsung users so stay tuned and watch it till the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one with that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started Samsung is really good at providing security updates and to update our phones, we go into the settings, software update and then click on download and install. Here we download the latest security patch on our phones. But did you know there is one more very important update that many of us didn't even know about. If you go into security and privacy, here we get another update option. Just go inside and click on Google Play service update. We already got a new update and it is around 75 MB in size. It says latest security update from Google, update now to keep safe and improve device stability. All you need to do is just tap on download and install. Once that is done, make sure you restart your phone. These updates mainly address the security issues on your phone and they are different from monthly patches that we receive from Samsung. So it's good to keep a check on Google updates as well. Did you know that anyone can power off your phone by just holding the power button? Now imagine if someone stole your phone, the first thing they would do is simply turn it off and then it's going to be really difficult for you to track your missing device. To fix this, there is one setting which you need to enable right now. Just go to lock screen and AOD, select secure lock settings. It will ask you to enter the pin and here you'll get these additional settings and the one which you need to turn on is the lock network and security. Once done, now if someone tries to power off your phone, it will ask to enter the pin first. This makes it a lot easier to locate your phone just in case it is missing or stolen. There is one more important setting which can help you find your missing phone and that can be found under security and privacy. Simply go into lost device protection. Here just make sure all these options are enabled on your phone. Even if one setting is disabled, you need to turn it on right away. This will help you locate your missing phone even if it is offline and not connected to a network. Whenever you copy anything on your phone, it will be available inside the clipboard. Let me just copy this text. Now if I open keyboard and click on this clipboard icon, here not only can I find the text that I just copied, but it also shows all the previously copied content as well. The problem is there might be some sensitive information that you have copied in the past like your password and address or any sensitive data. Guys, this clipboard can be accessed by any third party application or a website that you visit on your phone. In order to prevent this, we have one privacy feature right inside our phone settings that will notify us whenever a third party app or a website tries to access the clipboard. Let me show you how to enable that feature. Go into the settings, just tap on security and privacy, scroll down and you will get this option called additional privacy controls. Simply go inside and turn on this toggle that says alert when clipboard accessed. Now you will get an alert every time any app or website tries to access your clipboard. Then you can go ahead and block the permission for that specific app. I think it's a really important setting. Since we store a lot of sensitive information on our clipboard, you definitely need to turn this on. As we are discussing security and privacy, there is one more important feature that you need to enable. Just click on auto blocker. I see that many people have not enabled this feature on their phones. Not only does it keep your phone safe by blocking threads and other suspicious activities, but it also prevents malicious devices from sending commands to your phone when connected using a USB cable. So if it is disabled on your phone, then I will highly recommend you to turn this on right away. Most Samsung devices have this useful feature called secure folder. It's a place where you can keep your photos, videos, files, apps and data private. Now even if you set up a secure folder on your phone, anyone will still be able to see it in the app drawer, search field and you can see it on the H panel as well. In order to fix this, you need to add the secure folder toggle in your quick settings panel. Now you can use this toggle to make the secure folder visible or hide it from your phone. If I disable it, no one will be able to see the secure folder option anywhere on my phone. So if you are using the secure folder feature on your Galaxy phone, then make sure you have enabled this setting. Did you know by default anyone can access the edge panels directly from the lock screen even without unlocking your phone? As you can see, I can easily pull out my edge panels right from the lock screen and this can be super risky if you are using the clipboard or notification panel. Anyone can have access to your personal information including all your contacts. To fix this, you need to disable one important setting on your phone. 
go into display scroll down and select edge panel now go inside panels click on this three dot menu select this option called hide on lock screen here you can choose all the panels that you want to hide on the lock screen now when someone try to access a particular panel from the lock screen it will ask to unlock your phone first you should definitely change this setting if you're using edge panels on your phone next if i go to gallery and i want to hide a particular album i just need to select it tap on this three dots menu here i have this option that says lock album which you probably don't have now when i want to access that specific album it will ask me to scan my fingerprint by default we do not have this useful feature but there is a way to get it on your samsung phone just go to settings scroll down and click on about gallery here tap on this version number for 11 times now if you go back you will have this new option called gallery labs go inside and enable this option called album entry logs just a quick disclaimer that it only works in Samsung Gallery, so all your logged albums can still be viewed in other applications. Other than this, you also get a lot more interesting features inside the Gallery Labs. So make sure you enable this secret menu on your phone. That's pretty much it for this video. These are some really important settings that you need to change right now on your Samsung device. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.